Morning guys, just woke up about an hour ago. I have not had anything, so I'm fasted. So I thought it would be a good time to do a ketone reading. I'm using my Keto Mojo and I'm gonna do both my blood ketones and my blood glucose. I haven't tested my blood ketones in a long time, so I'm excited to see the number. I haven't tested it in so long, I don't even know how it goes into the machine. 0.7. Anything over 0.5 is nutritional ketosis. So, I mean, I'm okay with that. I would have rather it been one or higher, but that's okay. So let's check my blood sugar. 75, okay, so that's, that's more like it. That's what I like to see. All right, now we can do my glucose ketone index. So your glucose ketone index is your blood glucose, which is 75 divided by 18, just because that's a conversion factor divided by your ketones. So, which for me was 0.7. So 75 divided by 18 divided by 0.7 is 5.95. Generally, as long as my GKI is under six, I'm okay. I'm pushing the limits today, but that's fine. So one to three means you're in really deep ketosis. Three to six means you're in moderate ketosis. And anything above six means you're either in light ketosis or out of ketosis. So. God, how many times did I just say ketosis? It's a good way to start the day. Bubby. He's my Tinky. Who's my bub? Milton. I'm gonna be heading to the gym in a bit, so I just cracked open a Bang Star Blast, my favorite flavor. I'm just gonna be drinking this and then off to the gym and then today I'm actually going to start working. <laughs> so I've been off work for the past about four or five weeks because of my surgery and recovery, but I actually go back to work a week from today and I'm really sad about it, <laughs> but I'm gonna try to ease back into it. I know I probably have over a thousand emails at this point, so I'm gonna try to start working through it this week so that when I start back next week, I can hit the ground running. But in the meantime, bang it out. I love the Star Blast. Okay guys, I am hungry already, so I decided to eat. So I have breakfast, which is five portions of the protein waffle. Then I got two slices of bacon. And I immediately know that after this, I'm gonna be hungry. So I already got my Hero Bar. And I'm starting with a red Powerade. Let me go ahead and give these waffles a taste. They just came out of the microwave, so they are piping. It's just sweet and delicious and you just, feel like you're eating regular waffles and syrup. So I'm gonna enjoy this and then I'll be back. Okay, bulletproof coffee time. And so now I'm gonna show you how I make it from start to finish. First off, we have my electric kettle, which I have recently become obsessed with because all you do is put water in it, put it on a little base, and turn it on. Like you guys, I am just impressed by the simplest things. But while this is heating up, it gives us time to get the rest of the coffee together. One tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna just throw a smidgen of salt in there. Coffee maker. Two tablespoons of coffee. And now we pour. An ounce of sweetener, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, a tablespoon of collagen, and a half a cup of milk. And a lot of you were getting on me last time about putting the hot liquid in my Nutribullet, so I got a little blender thingy. Ah. And there you have it, delicious frothy coffee. All right, I'll have this and then it's almost dinner time. It's almost roast time. Okay guys, I have my roast in a bowl and valuable lesson I learned today, frozen stuff still has an expiration date. Like, major fail you guys. I poured these, I put the green beans in the microwave and then I poured them into this bowl and I was like, Oh, this coloration is, is not what's up. So I was like, did these expire? I looked 
at the bag, it said best used by November 2017. How long ago did I... Mm. So that was a major fail. What's even more exciting is that I came across this Frank's Red Hot Extra Hot Hot Sauce at the store. So I was like, yep, seems right up my alley. So I'm just gonna put a couple droplets on here and just dive right in. You know, like what are forks? It's just as good as I remember it. Mmm. It's crusty and chewy. I don't know how you like your meat, but I like a burnt, crusty, chewy meat. And like, this is so good and so flavorful. Like, oh my gosh. Okay, called an audible. I had to go with broccoli because my green beans were spoiled, apparently. Just frozen broccoli drenched in butter and salt and pepper. Mmm! Using the same bowl as the roast because as the broccoli was cooking, I just stood here and ate the entire portion of roast with my hands. I'm using a fork for the broccoli. You're welcome. I'm back. Look what I got. Okay, here we go. It's just really good. It's really thick and peanut buttery. Like, I really love the texture. I will take this over the texture of a Quest cookie or a no foods cookie any day. I'm gonna be watching Umbrella Academy on Netflix, so comment below, let me know, have you watched it, have you started, what did you think? I have no idea, I'm about to press play, and, and I'll be back for Jell-O later. All right guys, I am back. I got my two Jell-Os in tow, and so I'm gonna have these, and that will do it for today. To be honest, as much as I loved all the food that I ate, I want more. Like, I still want to keep eating food. I'm just really hungry for some reason. But that's when I rely on my meal plan and on knowing that, like, hey, Autumn, you've already eaten all your food for the day. It's done. There's no point in sitting around wishing you had more or thinking about what you might want to eat. Like, it doesn't matter because your food's done. So eat your jello, enjoy it, and hey, maybe I'll have some more Powerade or maybe I'll drink some water. Maybe I'll chew a piece of gum. But this would be an instance where I was like, okay, maybe just like, uh, you know, a half an ounce of nuts would get me through, or hmm, maybe I could have like a half of an Atkins bar, like just because I wouldn't be keeping track, so I wouldn't know for sure. But now that I'm eating in accordance with my meal plan that I made for meal prep yesterday, I know that there's just no more room, and that's okay, and I'm okay with that. I am okay with going to bed mentally hungry, because we know it's not physical hunger, so I'm okay with going to bed mentally hungry, knowing that I've done what it takes to meet my goal. And that's just what I gotta do each day. Some days it's easier than others. Some days I'm not feeling hungry and I'm feeling completely satisfied. Other days it's like I could just eat and eat and eat and eat. But I don't do that because I stick to my plan. And all it takes is discipline and consistency and you will succeed. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, and monthly keto crate reviews. You can also find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.